Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Estonian International Mathematical Olympiad Team Selection Test, year 2022, problem number 1. We have a functional inequality. We wish to find all functions f from the set of real numbers into itself, such that f of x plus f of x plus y is less than or equal f of x times y plus f of y, for all real numbers x and y. It's a nice functional inequality. Here are my hints. First, try to rearrange our inequality. So on the left hand side you should have f of x minus f of y. On the right hand side f of x y minus f of x plus y. And notice the symmetry of this expression and use this symmetry. And then you should setting try setting three values. First, set y to 0, then set y to minus x, and finally set y to be x. And, of course, verify your result in the end. So give this problem a try. Okay, so, as I suggested, let's rearrange our inequality. Our inequality is equivalent to this. To this. And that holds for every real x and y. So now what I will do is change x to y and y to x. Because of symmetry of the right hand side, I have the following f of y, f of y minus f of x, and the, the right hand side stays the same because it's symmetric with respect to x and y. So we have these two inequalities, we can subtract them. Subtracting 1 and 2. Subtracting 1 and 2, we have the following. Well, on the left hand side we have just 0 now. And on the, on the right hand side we have 2f of xy minus 2f of x plus y. And now we can divide by 2 and we can write this in the following way. For every real x and y, f of x plus y is less than or equal f of x times y. Let's mark it our condition triangle. Now, it's time to set some variables. First, let's set just y to be 0 in our condition triangle. We have then we have the following f of x is less than or equal f of 0 for every x. Yes, remember that that holds for every x. For every real number x. Very well. Now let's set something else. Let's set y to be minus x in our condition green triangle. Then, what do we have then? Then, this time we have f of 0 on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have f of minus x squared. And that also holds for every real number x. But let's see, here we have minus x squared. Every non-positive number can be written as minus x squared for every or some uh, a real number x. So that means that in fact for every, let's change variable, for every non-positive z, f of 0 is less than or equal f of z. Yes, Because every non-positive number is minus something, minus its square root of its absolute value squared, for example. Now, let's take a look. Combining this and that Let's mark it square and let's mark this uh, pentagon. <laughs> combining combining conditions square and pentagon, we see that for every non positive number z, f of z equals f of 0, actually equals, because we have inequalities in two different directions. 
Very well, so now we know that our function is constant on the set of non-positive numbers. What about positive numbers? Well, let's finally set y to be x and let x be non-positive number in our condition green triangle. In our condition green triangle. Then what do we have? Let's go back to our condition. Here we have f of 2 times x, and here we have f of x squared. For every non-positive x, f of 2x is less than or equal f of x squared. But what is f of 2 times x? Well, now, by now we know that it is f of 0, because f x is non-positive. And again, every number, every non-negative number can be written as x squared. So in fact, for every z greater than or equal 0, f of z is f of 0. So our function, in other words, it's constant. Yes? f must be constant. Okay, and again, let's do a verification. If our function is constant, here we have constant plus constant, two times constant. Here we have constant, constant, two times constant. It is satisfied. So in other words, every, every constant function satisfies our inequality. So every constant function, every constant function satisfies our functional inequality. And no, and no other function. And no other function. And that is actually our answer. The solution set of our functional inequality consists of constant functions. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time and I will see you next time. Goodbye.